Hey guys, 1HP Medic here. As you know, earlier this week we released our Creative Aim Pack collaboration with Hogman. So in this video we wanted to provide a better understanding of our reasoning behind why we designed the map in this way. This map was really designed to give the Fortnite community a measurable way to test your aim using the principles of neuroscience. As mentioned in previous videos, aim is a neuromotor skill which can be broken down into both click timing and tracking. Other key modifiers of those skills include vertical, horizontal, static, and dynamic components, as well as some others. The six scenarios we included in this map are what we thought were the most important skills to measure your aiming ability with. So let's get right into it. The first aim skill we wanted to test you guys with was the horizontal tracking scenario. This scenario is designed to break down the skill of dynamic tracking into its horizontal component. Dynamic tracking is a skill defined by continually following a target with your reticle while you are stationary. In this scenario, zombies will continually spawn on alternating sides provided that you continue to eliminate them. The zombies have 500 health and are medium sized targets. If you fail to eliminate a zombie, you can always reactivate the scenario by shooting the trigger. This scenario is on a timer of one minute. So after testing your horizontal tracking, the next aim skill we wanted to test is the vertical tracking scenario. This scenario is designed to break down the skill of dynamic tracking into its vertical component. Like the horizontal tracking test, zombies will continually spawn on alternating sides if you continue to eliminate them. Again, the zombies have 500 health and are medium-sized targets. This scenario is also run on a 1 minute timer and you are locked in position on the grid without the ability to move farther forward or backwards in order to ensure standardized testing. Alright, the next scenario we developed is designed to improve your horizontal click timing. So dynamic click timing is a skill that requires you to time your click appropriately when your reticle is moving through or over your target. This scenario utilizes targets which continually spawn in random patterns. We decided to use the dual pistols for this scenario due to the high rate of fire on the gun without allowing for a fully automatic firing pattern. Like all the other scenarios on this map, this trial lasts for one minute. And up next we have vertical click timing. Because our brains break down aiming into horizontal and vertical components, it is important to train both. So much like the horizontal click timing scenario, this scenario challenges your vertical dynamic click timing and is unique to this assessment map. When training, it may be more beneficial to use something like a tile frenzy scenario. But for the sake of scientific testing, we wanted to be consistent with our breakdown on skills, so we decided to test click timing in this vertical pattern. These last two scenarios are some of my personal favorites and are the 360 integration scenarios. We wanted to give you guys the opportunity to test your skills in a 360 degree environment and also apply skills gained at long range to a closer distance, which requires increased reaction time and responsiveness. The first scenario we designed was dynamic tracking in 360 degrees, and the goal of the scenario is to track for as long and consistently as possible. We really wanted to make the scenario as random as possible to challenge your aim, so you don't get used to the movement of the zombies. In order to do this, we put speed boosters on the wall that propel the zombies in random directions so you never get used to the pattern. So the last scenario we have for you guys is the dynamic 360 click timing scenario. So just like the 360 tracking scenario, the click timing scenario allows you to test your skills in a 360 degree environment while requiring increased reaction time and responsiveness. The cool thing about these last two tests is that they may give you a better idea of what your aim skills will be like when translated to the in-game environment compared to the standalone skill tests. So just to recap everything that we talked about so far, this map is designed for testing yourself before training, so you have a baseline understanding of where you stand as far as aim skill goes. You should utilize this map once a week to retest yourself and see if you are making progress with your aim training. This is not a map that you should be necessarily grinding to get better. We recommend utilizing the training map we designed with Hogman for that purpose. When you guys test yourself with this map, make sure that you're recording your scores either on your own spreadsheet or in the spreadsheet that can be found in the map or in the description of this video. Tracking your progress consistently is the key to success in developing any skill. Learning how to aim better is no different than learning how to ride a bike or throw a ball or do a squat. All require consistent practice and feedback from outside sources. 
This tool can help you achieve your goals by giving you that feedback and benchmarking your progress as you go along. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really look forward to seeing how people are progressing with their aim. Feel free to post your scores on Twitter and tag the 1HP team. If you're interested in learning more about how our brains learn to aim, check out the science behind this map in the video links below. And if you're looking to train your aim using the map we designed with Hogman, the code will also be listed in the description. Thanks again for watching our video guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.